Sí. <laughs> uh, let me absorb that for a second, because I dropped a bomb just then with that, what I just said, when I revealed that. I dropped a heavy bomb. <laughs> Oh, that was heavy. <laughs> yeah, I got you, Lord. I got you. All right. So, yeah, the serpent says, has God said you shall not eat of every tree of the garden? And the woman said unto the serpent, we may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden. So please understand this right here. Anytime something comes and has a conversation with you to knock you off course from where you are with God, it's going to be an external voice, okay? It's going to be an external voice. The external voice is going to have to, there's going to have to be something internal that the external voice can connect to, all right? There was something inside of her that this serpent was able to connect to. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 hear me well. There was something inside of her that this external voice was able to connect to. Now, let's make it plain so that y'all get it because I feel you in the atmosphere. Okay, so her woman and a man, right? I'm going to use a husband and a wife because of the sanctity of it. I can't use a boyfriend and a girlfriend. That term is not even in the Bible, so I can't even use that. It's, it's, it's male or female or either it's spouse, so let's go with husband and wife okay husband and wife they are together and there there is uh situations that's going on where there is maybe something that's not that's that you know one one is not happy right that they're, they're not happy there are some situations going on circumstances so there is this seed or root of unhappiness that has been put in there is something that is internal and so what happens is is an external voice begins to speak to that that is internal okay so he's not happy or she's not happy vice versa because it happens both ways and an external voice begins to speak to her or an external voice begins to speak to him and so what it speaks to is not the part that is solidified in the marriage but it speaks to the part that is not solidified so what's going on with you and then the next day, you know, this is what you hear. I can talk to them. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's just easy for me to talk to them, you know. They understand me. Yeah, because it was that part that they was able to connect to. So Satan was able to connect to that serpent, which is Satan, was able to connect to that part inside of her that part okay so y'all get it y'all get it all right it's open form all right y'all get it okay so the woman says to the serpent we may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden god has said you shall not eat of it neither shall you touch it lest ye die so she was fully clear on what god has said she was fully clear on it. Please don't miss that. She was fully clear of what God said down to the detail. She knew exactly what God said. She knew the instruction of what God said. Verse 4 says, And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. Ye shall not surely die. That's where the issue came in. Ye shall not surely die. She allowed what had been solidified in her to be twisted or to be literally caused a, a, a fault in her head from an outside voice. You ain't going to die. That's what happens now when people say stuff like this. Let's have sex. And you say, you know what I'm saying? God understand. Shoot. He know you got needs. See that? That's what that is. That's the same thing that Satan did. Here, you ain't going to surely die. 
See, he was saying, it's all right for you to do it. It's okay for you to do it. God understands that, you know, you got needs. No, God understands you got greed. That's what God understands. God understands that you got lust because that is a greed. Fornication is a greed. That's what it is. It is defined. That's all you need, a definition if you need an easy one. Fornication is greed, y'all. That's what it is. Adultery is greed. That's what it is. That's the only word that you really need to use for it because what it means is to go in excess, right? Okay, so listen, fornication. I have flesh. I have flesh. I am flesh. I am a woman. I am a woman. I have emotions. I have desires. I am a woman. I am in the I am in the presence of flesh right now. But if I go and I fall in the bed with someone and be intimate with them, I've now stepped into a position of greed. It's now a lust because what I'm saying is, is I'm not content enough with. I'm greedy. I won't talk that. Give it to me, baby. Say it's greed. So what it means is, is to literally have no control over the flesh. Oh, it's getting real in here today, y'all. It literally means to have no control over the flesh. That's what that means. So when you hear people make compromising statements about having... Uh, uh, intercourse, you know, and and not being married, they're literally saying, I don't have any control over this. And when they make uh, gestures at you to try to get you to fall into these things, that's what they're saying is, I'm out of control. And I just want you to join me. I'm out of control. And so when it happens with a married person, that's literally what they're saying as well, is I'm out of control. What I have is not good enough for me. It's not fulfilling enough for me. I need some more. I'm out of control. My appetite is in a place of greed. The the servings I have are not fulfilling to me. I'm greedy. Give me some more. That's all it is, y'all. That's all it is. Simplify. That's all it is. So the serpent says to her, you're not going to die. And for God does know, this is the serpent still talking. For God does know that in the day that you eat thereof, then your eyes shall be open and ye shall be as God. Knowing good and evil. So he literally puts her in a position as to where now he's saying you have the ability to stand as a God yourself. You can be a God yourself. He's literally withholding something from you. That's what he's doing. He's keeping something from you. And so let's be realistic and let me show y'all something. That is the same thing that we are saying when we fall into these diverse temptations. We are literally saying, okay, for me to be with someone and I'm not married and I understand that it's wrong for me to do, but for me to do it anyway, what I am saying is, is you holding something from me and I can't wait. I want it now. I want it now. No, I'm not going to wait to be married. I want it now. You're holding it from me. You're keeping it from me. Because if you are with it with an intent to, you know, to have it, to to spend your life with it, then what is the point of not waiting for it? What if you I want it now, then what you're saying is, is uh, you're holding it from me and I can't wait. I want it now. I'm adamant about wanting to get it now. I'm in a place of greed. I'm in a place of greed. To be immature, let me, let, me, let, me, let me give y'all another word that helps y'all with the word greed. Patience. A lack of patience literally means to be greedy. To be greedy. That is what having a lack of patience is. Greedy. I want it now. I'm greedy. People that have, I want y'all to take note and pay attention. First, pay attention to yourself because you have to literally judge yourself. Pay attention to yourself. I want you, and then I want you to watch folk. 
people that have a lack of patience, literally in other areas, you're going to see them be greedy. Greedy. They're greedy. They are greedy people. And in essence of, I want it all. That lack of patience means I cannot wait for it. I want it now. I'm greedy. It's immaturity. So he tells her, God knows you're going to be a God. And you're going to know the difference between good and evil. Really and truly, it wasn't for them to know the difference. They were to just stay on the straight and narrow that they were on. All right, verse 6. says, and when the woman saw that the tree was good for food. The saw. Now, when we get into our next phase, I'm going to show you all that's the lust of the eyes. We're going to talk about it in detail when we get into the next, the next teaching. And that it was desired to make one wise. Mm. And she took of the fruits thereof and did eat and gave also unto her husband, which was with her, and he did eat. Okay, so check this out. The part where it says, desired to make one wise. That's the pride of life. Remember the definition is the hiding of pride is the hiding of truth. She was literally not content where she was. Uh huh. She was not content with where she was. The pride of life would get us like that. Hmm. Mm-mm. See, when I say the definition of pride, remember, is the hiding of truth. She did not stand in her truth. The stance, the position that she was in was what God had said. He said, I got y'all covered. He told them, I got y'all covered. You can eat of all these trees in this garden, but there are trees in the midst of the garden. Don't touch those. I got y'all covered. That was their truth. She did not connect to the truth of what had been said. Because if she had connected to the truth of what had been said, when the serpent came, she would have stood in that truth. See, it's going to tell on us where we are. That's what tests do. Test comes to reveal whether we are standing in our truth or not. It's going to always come with a test. God put them in that garden, gave them instructions, and as soon as he gave instructions, the next step, they were released into a test. So anytime that there is instructions given to you, the next phase is going to be, you can put your money on it, a test. And that test is coming to see if you're going to stand in the truth of the instruction that was given to you. But if you have a pride of life, or if you have the lust of the flesh, the greed of flesh, or if you have the lust of the eyes, the greed of life, you are going to fail that test, hands down. You are going to fail it. She was literally dealing with every one of those issues. She housed every one of them. Lust of the flesh, pride of life, and the lust of eyes. 
scripture clearly proves every bit of it. And when the woman